To wrap this segment up, Jesus talked about two men. Yes. Who both believed in grace. Oh, John, this is such a powerful story found in the book of Luke. Both of them believed in grace. Now, here's a man who goes into the temple and says, I thank thee, God, that I am not like other men who are adulterers, extortioners, and so forth. And he says, I fast twice a week. I'm a good person. He thanked God for that. He believed in grace. He believed that he, he was able to do these good works in the power of God's gift. Then there was another man, the publican, who never even had the nerve to look God in the eye. He never raised his head to heaven, the Bible said. But he, he smote himself and he said, God, be merciful to me, the sinner. And Jesus said, this second man went home justified and the other did not. That's, that's so powerful because you have two men who believed in grace. Absolutely. But one had the wrong belief in grace and he did not get justified. One believed that grace was wonderful to help you to do better. The other believed in a grace that was much greater than that, the grace to be able to save somebody from the ground up, somebody who has no, nothing to depend upon. And today, listening to this program and watching us, John, there's somebody just like that, I believe, who honestly believes I have nothing to contribute. I've messed it up so bad. There's nowhere that I can go. I've ruined other people's lives. I've received letters from people in prison who tell me awful stories of what they've done. And they think to themselves, there's no hope for me. And I want to tell them today that there is hope for them because grace is very amazing. In fact, there may be more hope for them than the religious person who's listening, who's a churchgoer, who thinks that he's doing pretty well, thank you, and grace comes along to give him a hand. But the other person knows, grace just doesn't give me a hand. It gives me a tremendous miracle.